I am breathing deeply and successfully and I am attempting to live my life in the best way I know how which is not fucking hiccuping I think it's over God I hope it's over don't party horn me I hope it's over Yep, I'm going to say successfully my hiccups are over. I can now officially start stream. Are y'all ready for a fucking five frame Friday? Fuck yeah, you are. Let's do it. Can you guys even hear me when the intermission's going on? Like when the little worms are on screen and we're doing like the stinger? I don't know if people can hear me when the stinger goes on. Huh. Maybe it just cuts off. I've never checked into that. Stop bonking me. I'm trying to think. I should Google that. What? Why am I getting exploded and hydrated and bonked already? I didn't even... Like, I just started. I just switched screens, crew. Good morning. Afternoon. Fuck. I don't know what time is. Shit. Oh, I'm not even business wazzy. Oh, shit. I forgot to be business wazzy today. Hold on. Let me... Let me fix the business wazzy. I'm so sorry, everybody. I was the regular fucking movement one not the fucking business wazzy mode hold on i gotta choose a file hold on it's coming i promise you business wazzy has been activated my apologies. We are now back to business, Wazzy. All right. Let me welcome everybody and also immediately put you into the bad time water Watch bottle. Because Sour Lad has redeemed five minutes or seven minutes in heaven, which means emote only chat. Thank you, Sour Lad. I now get to catch up already because it's only emotes time. All right. Let's do it. Welcome. Cyberbox. Uh, Sour Lad. Naked Snake. Uh, Jade. Jared. Jared, I haven't seen you in a bit. Uh, Gray, Hive, Eric, Kakashi Lover, uh, fucking Keyrill, <laughs> Keyrill, <laughs> Digital Ghost, um, King, Gray, I think I already said Gray, uh, Shrunk, um, that looks like, that, that looks like most people. Okay, cool, we're back. Emote only time. I'm already on swear timer. This is, you know, this is just my life. And you guys get to sit in bad time water bottle. I've already caught up. So that's good. Thank you, Sour Lad, for redeeming seven minutes in heaven so that I could catch up on chat. Because it's a work day. And uh, we got to get some freaking frames done. Okay, I'll let you out of emote only chat, but everybody behave real good. Okay, good. Behaving. <laughs> Kirill goes, what did I do? Uh, listen, you're new here, but you're already on on danger zone. Jake goes, Wazzy, that was Snake who redeemed it, not Sour. Oh, was it? Then what the heck did Sour redeem? Oh, it was Snake. All right, well, Snake put you there. You guys can, you know. It's the final bingo. <laughs> mm, good. <laughs> Good, a serenade of bingles. Thank you, Kakashi Lover, for 25 bingle Fuck bangles. Yeah. Oh, God, and an end to my swear timer. Fuck yes. Okay, we're doing good. Will Business Wazzy get an upgrade at some point also? Uh, possibly. <laughs> Shonk goes, why am I still Shronk? Because I like it. I like... Do you not like me calling you Shronk? Because I will stop if you don't like it. But I rather enjoy it. Um, Phoenix says, uh, it just started. How could you possibly be in bad, the bad time water bottle already? Um, you know, cause, um, listen, have I ever lived a day where you guys haven't bullied me relentlessly? No, I haven't. That's why bad time water bottle for everybody. Why are, Wazzy, why are we looking, why are, why are we looking at Wazzy sitting on, uh, 15 thumbtacks on the left C? Because, because, shut up. We're animating. Shut up. It's animating day. It's animating day. Okay. Gina goes, why is that that every time I get in here, um, all my animated emotes stop working constantly? Uh, it's because, listen, I'm so powerful. 
it's because I'm so powerful that I could break Twitch with a single stream. I am stream's least goodest streamer. Anyway, we have a bad joke and a notice me, senpai. So first of all, is Nutella's bad joke. Ahem. <clears throat> My mayonnaise is trying to kill me. At least, that's what my sauces say. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Choke! Also, Shronk would like a notice me, senpai. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, Shronk. Ahem, <clears throat> Shronk. If you were a triangle, you'd be a cute one. Da 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 da! Flirt! I had to give you a different one than the original one. The original one that was in line was, Do you like vegetables? Because I love you from my head tomatoes. And I didn't understand that. I didn't, I didn't get the joke, so I, I didn't read you that one. But that would have been the one you got. <laughs> Anyway, fuck, I gotta catch up on chat now. God damn it, guys, I haven't even drawn one half of a frame yet. Wazzy, I have some good tokusatsu news. Yesterday at 420, we got the reveal of the next Ultraman. And you're not gonna believe this, but the name of Ultraman is Ultraman Blazer. Of course he was released on 420. Perfect. Cypress says, I can't wait until Monday so I can play the most scuffed version of Minecraft. Hey, listen, we try very hard on Mondays, Okay. Minecraft Monday is a fucking staple around here, and I will finish my goddamn roller coaster come hell or high water. GD says, Wazzy, uh, you keep being snarky. Someone's going to find a way to put you in a jar. You can't put me in a jar. Nutella says, every time I join, I just see Wazzy getting bullied. I mean, that's my life, buddy. <laughs> uh, Dead's here. Hello, Dead. Shrunk goes, I'm afraid. Kirill says, the Megalovania made me laugh. Thank you. It's called a Bonkalovania. Jeannie says, also, I think I redeemed something from yesterday uh, that got in a bit too late, but I'm probably wrong. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's to my toes. Tomatoes, to my toes. Oh, thank you, everyone, for explaining the joke to me. I still hate it. <laughs> Oh, Fred says, I'm so happy to see you like this. What, my little business tie? It's business wazzy day? Jeannie goes, the tomato one works better in person. Uh, saying, um, if the person saying it is Brit is a Brit. That's fair. Also, our background changed to pink. Um, Hive goes, the best way to spend time before a date. Wazzy stream. <gasps> Hive, you have a date? Oh my God, Hive, you're going on a date? Who's the lucky individual? Are we going to have to fight them? Hey, yo, person dating hive. You better bring them home by seven. Off oh, friend goes, I like business, Wazzy. Grace says, Wazzy, can you play Subway Surfers at the bottom? I'm losing attention. Bitch, if you think this computer can handle anything other than barely streaming, you've got another thing coming. I'm sorry, Graves. I'm sorry that I'm boring and not able to keep your attention. However, if you think this fucking poor computer can uh, handle anything, you are dead wrong. It is, it is having a, a time. <laughs> Kiro goes, toes, feet, tootsies. <laughs> Chidi goes, the people in this chat have Riz. What universe are we in? Fucking... Don't bonk Lavinia me for this. Um, listen, some of us are successful and, and good at dating. I don't know which ones of those that is, but some of us gotta be, like, the odds are, out of, like, what, there's, like, 12 dudes here? Out of 12 people, one of us should have game. I don't know which one. I don't know how we got the game, but somebody's gotta have game, right? Like, odds are. Cyber goes, did you know in the terms of, in the terms of human to Pokemon, Vaporeon is the most cool. 
Hive goes, perhaps they also might be a drug dealer, but I'm willing to date crazy. <laughs> Jeannie goes, oh, wait, that's right. Wazzy's bad at understanding modern slang. Jade goes, I also have a date today. It's called work. I've been putting eight months worth of date with work, and I want to punch them in the face. Have you ever considered divorce? Listen, I know you and work have been seeing each other a lot of, uh, for, for a while now, and like like things have been rocky the entire time i mean there comes a point in everyone's life where they just gotta look at themselves and realize that maybe maybe this relationship is toxic you know eric says remember if your date is a demon use the pocket salt in your pants pocket sand cha 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 cheetah goes like not you wazzy i have zero game Nutella says, I have zero game, but for some reason it works. <laughs> I have negative riz. Speaking of the game, you lost. I have a PS4 and I'm happy. Oh, good. Technically, PS2 was the best console. I'm just putting that out there. But, you know. On Monday, I'm definitely building a second floor to the Dinky Foundation, so you can actually have your own room, Wasi. Sour says, I met someone named Asia yesterday. Was it me? Was I the person named Asia? It's alternate reality me. Was she very successful? I hope so. Hive goes, dating to marriage instead of divorce. Exactly. You could date someone and then divorce them. Eric goes, divorce? I'm kind of an expert on that. She goes, Wazzy, why are your um, eyes so, um, so fucking big like stitches? Because it's important to this animation. You guys ask a lot of fucking questions. What are you, a fucking cop? I'm animating something. Obviously, at the end of the animation, it'll make sense what I'm fucking doing. Um, so, like, obviously, fucking... Don't fucking hydrate me. Obviously, at, at the end of the animation, it'll kind of make sense what's happening here. Man, can't even draw... Moon says, I wonder if there's someone named America. I mean, probably. I mean, America. Um, Wazzy, what should I draw? Draw, um, I don't know, a fucking... A rhinoceros that has joined the circus. Shrunk says, are the wing count flippers actually updating? Well, they should. You have to, like, put the code in to get them to go. Like, if I mess up, you put an exclamation and then you write... Wa or if I do good, you put exclamation, Wazzy wins. Watch your profanity. Uh, which means I win. And if I mess up, you just put exclamation flub and then um, it puts the flub thing up. It's a team effort, but I would appreciate if you didn't put the flubs in there. Because as you could see, I'm currently winning all the time. Gabriel says, technically, there are no ports for PS2 to HDMI television. That's true. Natalia goes, damn, that's a 4040 eyesight. Greg says, hides a badge and weapon. Nope, not a cop. Oh, I believe you. Cops aren't allowed to lie. Cyber goes, I like my wazzies moist. I don't... I'm not going to respond to that. This is a business setting. Stick says, I hate that they're making a live-action movie of Lilo and Stitch. Um, but not only that, but they remove Mr. Bubbles. You know what I hate is live-action remakes of things that, you know, um, aren't that old, like Moana. They're making a live-action of f fucking Moana, and it's like not even five years old. King goes, oh, fun fact, Wazzy, Ultraman Blazers, the first time a captain of an armor attack team and a married man and the father-to-be of the leading man of an Ultraman series. And Jay goes, I knew someone in high school named America, though she was from Mexico, funny enough. Natilla says, you can see the edge of the universe with those eyes. 
Shrunk goes, I'm Erica. That's close enough to America. Yeah, it's like the Erica part. You just, because you, you just go, I am Erica. And then people be like, America. Did people ever salute you? Has anybody ever put you on a flagpole and like cried deep sentimental tears? Phoenix goes, Wazzy, where were you on the 8th of November asking for non-legal reasons? I don't know. Was I streaming that day? I don't know. You freaking... You think... You think I know where I was yesterday? I mean, I was here for a point in time, but other than that, I don't remember what I did. I think America was discovered by a call, guy called Amerigo, but I'm not motivated enough to search it up. Shrunk goes, oh, it's mispronounced names, huh? It's mispronounced names. It's it's whenever, you know, people think think it happened, you know. Cops are like dragons. They can't lie. You know, that's true. Nutella says, if you say the name name of Gatorade, I don't care about your um cop. It's only uh the blue, red, etc. If you say the name of the Gatorade, I don't care. You're a cop. Okay. You mean the flavor of a Gatorade. If you say the flavor of the Gatorade, then you are the co then you are a cop. Or at least a narc. I like green Gatorade. Green is my Hi, favorite. Lazy, I'm not a cop, I promise. Hi Ace, thanks for resubscribing and also for not being a cop. <laughs> Grace says, to be fair, Mr. Bubbles didn't add much to the story. Fancy says, they can make remakes cool. They haven't done it yet. They haven't done it yet, Fancy. Fancy, look at all the look at all the live action remakes. They haven't made a good live action remake yet. <laughs> what is the five? It's like practically like less than five years old. Genie goes, fun fact, uh, crows are currently in their stone age. Is it because they play with rocks? Kikashi goes, are we talking about how your name was almost Asia? Yes, we are kind of talking about how my name was almost Asia. But luckily, my mother couldn't think of a middle name that went well with Asia. So I am safe, okay? I got stuck with Wazi instead. My mom was like, here's two names. Which one would better suit my white baby? Will we go with the name Asia, which is a country none of us, no one in my family has ever been to? Or should we go with Wazi, which is just really messed up? Um, and they chose Wazi. So that's, that's where we am. <laughs> I mean, R. Fuck. Uh, you know what I meant. Uh, pizza goes, fun fact. I don't have any fun facts. That is a fun fact, pizza pasta. Anyway, welcome to the stream. Awesome friend says, I don't know how much Riz I have. How do you find out without having to date people? Because that terrifies me. Oh, y easy. You just do like a DNA test. Like you spit in a little cup and then they take your DNA and they're like, oh, yeah, you're not cool. Um, You know. That's that's how it goes. Hive goes, some old lady mispronounced my name, Melissius, as Magnet. Well, you know what? I've mispronounced 999 names in my day. I have two, I have like 2,000 followers on this account. I've had to say every single one of those 2,000 names. You think I haven't fucked up at least one of them? I mean, come on. <laughs> Poon goes, personally, I love orange Gatorade. <laughs> no, nah, I like green Gatorade. Crisis, I legit got thought the text-to-speech called uh, Wazzy Lazy. It, it has no idea what to do with my name. Fresh goes, have you played the rest of Undertale on stream? I can't find the part, uh, the last part on your VOD channel. Oh, I did. I'm very sure I uploaded it. We played all of it. Matt even t Matt, Matt even played um, attack mode. 
and died easily, but still fucking genocided. Also, why are you guys looking at my old videos? That's like two years old. What the fuck? Get off my dick. Stop looking at my past crimes. We're in the, we're on to future crimes. Stop looking at my past crimes. We're on to new cooler crimes, okay? We don't have time for the past crimes. Moon goes conservatives when they call Gatorade and not straighterate. Ace goes, so today is compliment Wazzy Day. No, it's not. Chris says, Asia's uh, Pacific, don't you dare. Chick goes, I love me some grape, I mean purple, Gatorade, my hip young people. How do you do, fellow students? <laughs> Phoenix goes, but you could have had a wrestler name. Fresh goes, wait, th th that's your real name? Yep. Kiro goes, why are we afraid of cops? I mean, how uh, petty can laws be? Um, you're right. I, I don't fear cops as much, but that's because I'm white and a girl and I can cry to get out of tickets. Um, but other people don't have that privilege of just being able to cry and get out of tickets. So, you know, that's how it is. Osford goes, I'm happy you were born, Wazzy. Well, that's weird. That's a weird... That's a weird fucking compliment. <laughs> I am happy you were born, Wazzy. Don't lie to the pe le new people. Your legal name is not Wazzy. For all intents and purposes, it is. Cyber goes, Wazzy, I dare you to microwave a grape with a boiled egg. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. Do you know why? Because I don't like cleaning my kitchen. I'm a responsible adult who doesn't like to clean their own kitchen, okay? Fuck. Ace goes, well, at least your name is not from an ex-boyfriend. My mom named is named after her ex. What? what? Wazzy, Wazzy, Madame, Buddy, Pal, Friend, Asia is not a country. Asia is a continent. Well, still, listen, shut up. Everybody get off my dick. I need everybody to do me a huge favor right now and get off my dick. Thanks. We haven't even made one frame yet. We haven't even done one frame. This is embarrassing for all of you. I can't believe this. How embarrassing for you guys that we haven't even got one frame yet. Kakashi goes, who's your favorite Undertale uh, character? Mine's Sans. Oh, um... Papyrus is okay. I don't I don't think I have a favorite Undertale character. They're all just neat. Kiro goes, I know a VTuber who calls me Kill. Can't even be mad about it. Oh hey, if it isn't Kill. Greg goes, they are just additioning you, Wazzy. Pay no mind. Shrug goes, we talking about the past? Well, if I recall correctly, Sasuke would be gay. It's, listen, listen, you guys don't need to throw my past crimes in my face. Also, I did 10 minutes without a swear, so fuck yeah, eat my dick. Fresh goes, Florden's when they fuck gators and not straighters. <laughs> Um, it's not compliment Wazzy Day. It is National Chocolate Covered Cashews Day, though. So that's fun. Hello, my fellow hip students. My name is Clive. I'm an energetic 12-year-old. Don't mind the gray hair, uh, gray hair beard on my chin. Look at my amazing pompadour hair. <laughs> I have an idea, but you're not allowed to know about it. Well, then why would you say anything? Jeannie goes, one of these days, Wazzy is going to accidentally dox her real name. We're all just waiting for it. Oh, some people know it. The unfortunate thing is PayPal's like, hello, here's your dead name. Would you like everybody to know your dead name? And I'm like, no, thank you. And it's like, too bad, idiot. Let's all the paperwork straightened out, though. Um... Grace says, Distract Wazzy Friday is going as scheduled. Wazzy, can you give my give my that Discord link? I forgot to join it. Ah, oh, one of the mods will do it. Sid so goes, I can't believe you didn't like dino like the dinosaur girl. 
Kira goes, you have a dong? No, but I am a little guy. I am, I am in a sense a little guy. I do not have my own dinky for the dinky foundation, but if I did, man. She goes, also apparently it's tom tomorrow is National Jelly Bean Day. And Sarah goes, I'm so mad someone ate my cake I was saving. Oh, God. Shrunk goes, which nation? Uh, for the Dinky Foundation or like, wait, 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 what are we talking about, Shrunk? And Phoenix would like a fact or fiction. So here we go. Okay, everybody. Ahem. Fact or fiction, Mysterious Phoenix. Happy birthday to you is a parody of... An ice cream for you. The original ice cream song. Somebody changed the lyrics of an ice cream for you, an ice cream for you. That was the original song and a happy uh, birthday is a parody of that. True or false? Nocturnal says, now Miss Wazzy, don't lie to crew. We all know that you're not a responsible adult. Red shirt guy is the responsible adult in your home. You're just a chaotic little gremlin guy. Judy goes, I know weird shit. I don't know why I know that. Craig goes, uh, you don't dinky with your dinky. You dinky with your heart. Yes, exactly. That sounds, that's true. Reaver says, that sounds real. King says, that's false. And Kakashi says, I, it's probably false, but I really want it to be true. Well, what do you guys think? Phoenix goes, I'm 50% sure that's actually true. Well, Mysterious Phoenix, you are 50% correct. But barely. It is actually false. Um, Happy Birthday to You is a parody song, but is not of ice cream. It is a parody song of Good Morning to You. And then one day somebody changed it to Happy Birthday uh, to You. So um, that it is a parody, but it's not about ice cream. I made that part up. I made the ice cream part up. Shrunk goes, can I make channel points like this? Oh, I don't know if you can make channel points with, with giving Bingle Bangle shrunk. I don't, I don't know. Cyber goes, I'm going to commit fall in a hole and never wake up. Phoenix goes, I blame it on Disney. Stick goes, I love being a diet mod. Everyone goes, the ice cream song sounds better. Someone copyrighted a parody? Yes, exactly. Kakashi says, only seven more days till my Legend of Zelda switch. Oh, that's fun. Shrunk goes, I'm out of notice me senpais. Jaden goes, isn't Warner Bros. the one who copyrighted the happy birthday song? Somebody has a copyright on it? Who the fuck copyrighted it? Who the fuck is out here being like, no happy birthdays for you? N no birthdays for anybody. Shrunk goes, can you give me a compliment anyway? Sure, Shrunk. Um, let me think of a nice compliment. Hey, Shronk. I like what you've done with your face. Good job on the face. Sarah goes, 350 worms one time per month for a bingle for a bingolin. <laughs> Gina goes, not anymore. Went to public domain a few years back. That's good. Sarah goes, I love being Wazzy's favorite because I'm so charismatic and everybody loves me, right? <laughs> sure. All right. And Ryu Rub would like a notice me senpai. Where the fuck did I put my little... Okay, there we go. Never mind. Ryu Ra. Hey, Ryu Ra. Are you craving pizza? Because I'd love to get a pizza you. Ta-da-da-da-da-da. Flirt. Chidi goes, that's why so many restaurants have their own uh, knockoff FD birthday songs. I didn't know that. Off brand goes, can you give me a backhanded compliment? Sure. I like what you've done with your face. It's so much better than before. 
Fresh goes, the song is in public domain in the United States and the European Union. Warner Chapel Music had previously claimed copyright on the song in the U.S. and collected licensing fee for its use. In 2015, the copyright claim was declared invalid and Warner Chapel agreed to pay back $14 million in licensing fees. D damn! Kirill goes, Disney copyrighted a Spider-Man copyrighted Spider-Man on a kid's on a on a gravestone. So the sky is the limit with that. Guys, let's start. Oh my god, guys, we gotta start a copywriting business. We gotta start. We gotta start copywriting everything we can. Crew, hear me out. Are you guys ready to be the fine brothers of memes? Are you guys ready to make everybody mad all the time forever? Do you guys want to be the fucking fine brothers of memes? Let's copyright memes. Shrunk goes, can you insult me? Hey, fuck you. Cyber goes, that is so comedic. Straight got me exhaling out of my nose. Yeah, she said pizza, a form of pizza, showing deep down she secretly wanted a piece of you. Oh, wow, I never would have seen that coming. Offer goes, all it's all you, you are small. Kakashi goes, copyright the worm on a string. <gasps> yes. State goes, I copyright the English alphabet. Also, why am I awake is here? Hello, why am I awake? Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to get some fucking work done. But as you can see, there's fucking chaos happening. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're trying. We're trying over here, but, like, we're not succeeding very hard. You will give me a bingle. Don't fucking bingle me. We're trying very hard over here. I haven't heard your fucking bingles come up in a bit, actually, Trash Panda. I know you, like, your your bingles are on the rotation. I just haven't heard them come up in, like, I don't know, since before Japan. I know they came up before Japan, but. So it goes, I call dibs on the meme of the guy who's like, it's your boy, and he's got a free taco, and he eats that shit. Sarlat goes, Disney mowing down the gravesites of dead children because they had Mickey Mouse on the tombstone. Sarlat goes, I copyright Wazzy. Wazzy stopped speaking. Phoenix goes, I'm going to copyright the phrase, I'm sorry. You can't copyright the phrase, I'm sorry. That phrase belongs to the Canadians, okay? The Canadians own that. You can't copyright, I'm sorry. Sarlat goes, I'm going to copyright the word Twitch. Gina goes, Wazzy, well, I'm not trying to call you short, but have you ever had to jump to wrap your arms around someone for a hug? No, because I have no vertical. Did I not explain this yesterday that like my jump capacity is like very minimal? No, I got to climb up people like a little fucking crazy monkey guy. And I just got to like crawl up somebody's legs or make them bend down to me. You know. Sarla goes, Wazzy, you should be copying. You should copy right bingles. Oh, I should. She goes, I haven't heard a uh, full bingle banglist in the in a couple months. And Kiro says, what do you think of this letter? That looks like... Okay. I don't know the sound it makes, but like, it makes me think of when you put the this by it and it makes a face. That's what, it, that's what I think about that letter. When you go like, ah! When you want to express to somebody that you're going, ah! Craig goes, I copyright the word the. <laughs> State goes, I copyright the terrible fries from Canada. There are no terrible fries in Canada. You're a fool. Cyber goes, you have to choose, Wazzy, between I'm sorry or A. Like, which one I like better? One will be copyrighted. Oh, I think I say I'm sorry more than I say A, so... Phoenix goes, Canadians are legally not allowed to say I'm sorry and uh, in court anymore. And I'm going to go to claim it instead. Judy goes, I, I copyright the term Timmy's. So he goes, yeah, the Canadians, those terrible fries that are named after poo or something like that. 
Charles goes, I'm on a deadline, but instead I choose to drew this. <gasps> Moon! Moon redeemed seven minutes in heaven! <gasps> Thanks, Moon! Guess what that means? Evote only chat! Ha 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 ha! Victory for Wazzy! Now I'm gonna get so many frames done. Now I'm gonna get so many frames done. Watch how many frames I get done while you guys are stuck in the bad time water bottle. Oh, I'm sorry! I didn't even put the bad time water bottle up! Boop! Now you guys are in the bad time water bottle. Enjoy sitting in the bad time water bottle. You can put fire in there, but you're going to be in the bad time water bottle. Enjoy sitting in there. Don't give me that sad look, Panda. You sit in the bad time water bottle and you will enjoy it. She goes, well, I can bypass this. Well, so you should get a seven-minute timer. Phoenix goes, you will never silence me. You guys, you guys sit in the bad time water bottle and you think about what you've done. You think about the crimes you've committed against me specifically. And uh, enjoy your little emotes flying across the screen. And I'm going to get so much work done. I'm going to get so much fucking work done while you guys just sit there and chillax, you know. She goes, uh, must go on my date with work now. Uh, I'll try not to punch customers. Take them on a nice romantic dinner, you know. Did somebody say... Don't bingle me. Because I'm a bangle, just so you know. Ace, don't bingle me. Not while you're in the bad time water bottle. That's illegal. You can't bingle when you're in the bad time water bottle. That's against the fucking rules. Also, there's a fact or fiction. And several other things that are going to happen as soon as you this... You cannot bingle me in a way that matters. True. You can't bingle. You gotta... Listen. Listen. Stop bingling in there, Shrunk. Stop bingling in there. Anyway, I have to do a fact or fiction for Shrunk. Monaco, get me some bingle bangles. You guys sit in your bad time water bottle and think about it. Am true or false, Shrunk? A hummingbird's color determines how fast its wings move. True or false? True or false? I'm getting attacked. I'm getting cyberbullied. I'm getting cyberbullied over Prepare here. Prepare for bingle. And make it bangle. <laughs> Phoenix goes, that's false because birds. <laughs> uh... I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm getting cyber bullied. You guys get one more minute in the freaking water bottle. Oh, wait, I'm not on a swear timer. You guys get one more minute in the fucking water bottle. Shrug goes false, but the color of my piss determines how fast I run to the hospital. I mean, you know what, Shrug? You're right. And you are also right on the fact or fiction. So, yeah. You know what? Fine. Fine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill out with, uh, with Curse here. We're just going to mind our own business. You guys can sit in here. Wazzy free us. No. No, I'm going to get work done. Look at all the work I got done. I don't like that mouth anymore. I'm going to move this one up. Okay, fine. You guys can come out of the bad time water bottle, but you gotta fucking behave, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready to behave? You can come out of the bad time water bottle. There you go. But behave. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bingo, bangle. Ace, what did I just say? I said behave, and you give me Raku moaning in my ear. Great. Thanks, buddy. I gotta get the new bingle bangles uploaded. Fuck yeah! Okay, hydrate. Okay, all right. All the redeems are coming in Watch fast. Your profanity. And a swear timer. Great. Thanks, Dad. The fuck's a bingle bangle? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I'm just going to lay on the floor. It's always the time of the stream when Wazzy lays on the floor and complains. How dare you guys? I come out here every day. And I do, and I do a little art, and you know, and we have a little bit of fun, and then you guys bingle bangle me, and I'm just trying to live my life. Hey, Wazzy, have you heard of the pretzel crust pizza? No, but I can imagine what that is. I can imagine that that's just a pizza with the pretzel on it. Like, I can imagine that. Thank you, Fresh, for a stretchy. Um, Ace goes, yeah, my favorite part of the stream where Wazzy's laying on the floor. 
<laughs> Kimro goes, I'm watching this on a TV. Can you wave on screen? I don't have my fucking VTuber model. If I was on VTuber, yes, I could. But my VTuber cannot handle... My computer cannot handle my VTuber sometimes. Which is why I am saving to get a new one. I not worked up enough to do my usual lay on the floor and yell about a thing. Once somebody gives me a good topic to lay on the floor and yell about, I might do that. Sean goes, wait, are you are you using cut instead of control Z? Yes, I am. Because I need, listen, it's how my brain, shut up. Shrunk, shut up. Shrunk, shrunk, shrunk. Do me a favor. Shut up. <laughs> Summer goes, my cat's being cringe. Hey, man, everybody's cringe. He goes, Wazzy has a potato floor. Judy goes, does your VTuber model actually have hand tracking or are you just dumb today? Uh, it knows wave. It doesn't have full hand tracking, but there is a wave emote. So, and it goes off randomly sometimes because like whenever I touch my face, my wave emote will go off. So it doesn't have full hand tracking, but she is equipped with cool things. Cyber, Cyber says, best way to cook an egg? No, see, it's got to be something I'm mad about. Ace goes, did you hear D Disney's going to give us a live-action Lilo stitch? I have heard that. And Moana. And other fucking things. Shrug goes, as an artist, my disgust goes as far, as far beyond human limits that I have ascended to the higher realms just to find a way to put up with my impure pent-up rage. Listen... The best kind of art comes out of spite. One time, just to spite ASJ, I did 50 frames on a 5-frame Friday. Not today, though. I can't pull 50 frames out of my ass today. Um, but, you know. You guys are going to have to listen to that. This is my cool new funk so song. The system is down. The system is down. The system is down. The system is down. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> Greg goes, did you hear that Nintendo Church should do $10 million after sending them to jail? Yeah. Yeah, he did. It's fucking weird. It's because I ate an ungrilled cheese. It was so good. Kakashi goes, a new hit single from Lil Wiz, the Joker of Sex. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So because topic to lay on the floor, the best way to angrily cook an egg. Listen, the last time I did a fucking lay on the floor and scream stream, um, I think it was about Velma and shit. Buffalo wing soda is good and cheese milk sucks. Kirill says, I wish I had a swear timer. Having you yell profanities is not the best for parents to hear from the other room. I'm sorry, Kirill's parents. Hello, Kirill's parents. I am Wazzy. Don't do drugs. Wait, you want me to make this freaking child friendly? Because I can do that. Um. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Some are good, some are bad. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Ask your mom or ask your dad. Yeah, that's child friendly. Somebody throw it hashtag educational on this stream. Kakashi says, last time you did a lay on the floor and scream stream, I felt like it was from Pillar of Dreams. Kakashi goes, can we continue conversation about how we're going to kill a 12 year old? Craig goes, child safe Wazzy doesn't exist. Yeah, she does. Remember that this was like four years ago, but like, remember that extra life? Where I was playing dark, um, dark Souls and I lost my mind a little bit because I'd been streaming for hours and I was getting my butt handed to me in Dark Souls and I was so mad about it. And like, I like laid on the floor and yelled for an uncomfortably long time. I remember that. It was really easy. There we go. Okay. 
Finally, the animation is partially done. I just got to do the little highlights in my eyes. Boom, beautiful. Nothing you have said has proven you are safe for kids. Y yeah, I don't have any sharp edges. Oh, I yeah, don't. Girl, give me the bingle bangle. Don't bingle bangle me. I don't have any sharp edges for children to smash their heads on. So technically that's child safe. Can we talk about the rumors that they're going to bring Chainsaw Man to Fortnite? I don't want to talk about that. Face goes, I remember because that was my first extra life. Starlet goes, any games you would like to go back and redeem yourself, Wazzy? Oh, like replay games and prove that I'm better at them than I think I am? Is that what you mean? Because I'm like, man, there's a long list of games I want to reprove myself on. Not that I think I could do better, but... Elvich goes, to be honest, Edgy looks like a dude that takes Fortnite very serious. I mean, yeah, that's true. Listen, if any if any Shonen Jump character is going to be like, oh, yeah, um, Fortnite, good, it'll be Denji, but... Listen, just because he would doesn't mean we want him on Fortnite. Great goes, uh, we already knew you weren't very sharp. Fresh says, have you read slash watched uh, Scott Pilgrim? I've done both. That is a Canadian classic. That is a kid. That is a Canadian heritage moment. Okay. That is Canadian heritage in a, in a freaking entire movie. Okay. Don't disrespect Scott Pilgrim around these parts. Okay. He's from Toronto. Okay. Oh, oh, I hate the knock knock sticker. Oh, I hate that. Grace says, by the way, did you know there's a live action parody of Chainsaw Man already? Oh, God, I hate that. Unless it's just the one that's the opening, because that one's hilarious. I have seen the one where it's just the opening and it's a bunch of dudes with bad wigs and it's beautiful. Also, BMC's here. Hello, BMC. Sarah goes, Denji, if you win Fortnite, I'll let you touch a boob. Makima. <laughs> Fresh goes, have you heard of the Netflix anime? You're going to have to be more specific. There's so many Netflix original animes. Craig goes, a parody? <laughs> oh, hentai parody. Oh, wait, what? He had hentai parody in live action? Deji's true dream meeting Jonesy Jonesy for Jonesy for Fortnite. Is his name Jonesy? I thought it was Jonesy. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know anything about Fortnite. I don't know about, enough about Fortnite to tell you whether you're right or wrong. Okay, let's see how this animation looks, everybody. Are you guys ready to see how fucking good this animation turned out? Let's do it. And Amazon was all like, that'll be $50, idiot. And then they spat in my eye. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly, that's exactly what we want here. Shrump goes, I think it's Jonesy. Gray goes, live action porn parody. Pilbo man, Tildo man. It's horrible. Ace goes, I heard they make a live action head tie, uh, which I guess is just regular porn. It it would be. All right, now I gotta draw spit. Hold on, everybody. I'm gonna blank all that out. There we go. I gotta save because I haven't saved in a while. I'm playing danger zone, everybody. Shrunk goes, I don't know what just happened. Cyber says, somewhere in this stack, uh, it's an L. Tell me where it is. I don't know. Shrunk goes, regular porn, but worse. It, it has even more plot porn with CGI. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants the, nobody. Listen, porn, you don't need a lot of plot. You don't, you, you, you don't need to. You don't need to. Also, I've done swear timers, so F yeah, fuck yeah on that.
Sean goes, anyone else see Euphoria? No, I have not. And Gray goes, porn, but it's just plot. <laughs> you mean TV shows or movies? Yeah, exactly. None of the sexual tension, all the plot. Check out Bizarre Move Modes. Why do I have five messages on my phone? Who's trying to message me? Stop lighting up, phone. I will throw you into a dumpster. This goes me. <laughs> And thank you for a background change. We're now on green. Shrunk goes, ah, Neha, green too bright. It hurts. <laughs> I like it. I think it's fun. And it lights up my face in nice, fun colors. I have to figure out how to draw spit splatting into my eye. Fresh goes, so yeah. Um, Netflix is making Spot, Scott Pilgrim anime with the movie cast. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, they're getting the, uh, the movie cast to voice act it. Which is an interesting take on it. Um, we'll see how well they can do. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna hold my breath. Honestly, every time, like... A new thing comes out and I get real excited for it. Sometimes it turns out it sucks. So I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm learning to not fall to the hype train so easily anymore. So it goes, remember that time when two doctors on Twitter talked about the logistics of mouth much dinky can person take before death? No, I don't, Sour, because that sentence didn't make sense. Ace goes, Wazzy, what's your favorite candy? Oh, that's super easy. Um, it's um, Coffee Crisp. Coffee Crisp is the best. Legally speaking, I just clicked the wrong button. I brought up the background stuff. You guys weren't supposed to see that part. I mean, you legally can, but... That's that's me making sure that all the frickin' redeems go through good. Cyber says, Wazzy, what color do you think would taste the best? For me, it would be uh, rose. Man, I don't know. Also, I've got curse here. Steak says, hey, those Japanese bell you're sending me are probably cursed. I mean, possibly. Kakashi says, that's easy. You got um, you got to get caught up on your crew lore. It's Coffee Crisp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, thank you, Nocturnal, for a save reminder. I feel like there's weird energy today. It's like a weird fucking energy. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about today. But it's weird and wild. Oh, Living's here. Living says, my boy. Thanks. Thanks, Link. Or I guess King Hyrule. I guess it is. Also, I got to hydrate. And also stretch. Eric says, good news, gang. Um... Got Sephiroth to green life bar. Uh, we are we are getting this angel today, gang. Cyber goes. Would you like me to speak some Irish as long as you don't translate it? Uh no. No, because I don't want you uh posting bad things in a different language. That seems like a fucking dick move. Ace goes, weird energy. It seems normal to me. I don't know. It just fucking... I don't know. I don't know what it is today. I don't know. Nocturnal says, some strange energy. Is it Sonic using chaos chaos control from space? Living says, I hope your day is okay. It's It's been fucking weird. <laughs> 
It's, I, man, I'm just trying to get some work done and I'm getting absolutely none work done, um, as usual, but you know, like I said, that's kind of, that's kind of on brand. Greg goes, wait, Sephiroth sent Mario and Luigi uh, superstar SAG after them. Kakashi says, the weird energy absolutely has nothing to do with the cursed stuff you brought back from Japan. I don't know. I just feel like I am off today. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a bad streamer. Who knows? Um, Livy says, you're good. Just go with it at your pace and flow. Man, I'm fucking, man, I'm fucking trying. <laughs> if i get if i get to this part of of the fucking animation done i'll be so happy but i have to draw so much liquid in order to get to that part and we gotta make it a little bit darker there we go kakashi says we've talked about that bad self-talk you are a great streamer do not make me start a hype train kakashi i will throw you into the sun I've done it again. Because how many frames have you got done? Technically, one. Technically, one is done. So I'm, I'm, I'm on the way. It's not as sad as it sounds. Potentially, potentially there will be a two here in a minute. If I freaking keep my wits about me. Snake goes, Wazzy, what's your opinion on Bob's Burgers? Um, I like the show. I have no strong complaints about the show. It's interesting. It's got some fun characters. It's got some fun times. Um, the voice actors are all pretty good. Um, I just wouldn't say that I'm, like, in love with it or anything. But, like, when I watch it, I have a good time. So goes, I, I love watching a self-deprecating uh, YouTuber animate spit for 15 minutes straight. Craig goes, ew, one, how about less? Come on, Distract Wasi Friday is a crude tr tradition. It is. But luckily for me, I've I've become faster and more powerful than you can ever comprehend. I have learned how to stream properly. I've got, like, fucking, like, backgrounds now. Um, What other things have I updated? I've got... Um, a cool hat, like fucking, I, I'm, I'm stronger than you can, I'm fucking, I'm Anakin up on the fucking top part of the fucking, uh, hill and you're Obi-Wan Kenobi standing at the bottom, like Wazzy, you were my brother. Um, and then, you know, uh, you chop my legs off. But I, I, I still get a sick, cool suit. So, fuck me. <laughs> Ace goes, no, it's compliment Wazzy Day. Six is here. It says, hey, welcome back, Six. I'm surprised we didn't scare you and Kirill off. I'm surprised Kirill came back. Kirill was like, hey, she yelled at me for like 45 minutes. I guess I'll go back. Six goes, no hard shine though. Uh, four out of ten. This is business wazzy, okay? I don't have time for that. I am I am business I'm a businessman with a business plan and I do all my business out of an unmarked van. Okay? And if you know that song, you get a thumbs up for today. Anyway, Fresh would like a fr fact or fiction. Here you go, Fresh. True or false? Roller skaters were invented in Belgium. Yet the inventor, inventor didn't know how to stop. True or false? Ryu goes, you got those reversed, but, uh, but fuck Star Wars. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't know which one was on the high ground. I don't know this. I don't know these facts. What's your opinion on Ben 10? I've never interacted with Ben 10. Fuck that kid. 
Kakashi goes, well, getting yelled at、um, you in the first time.、Uh, you come here, it's just tradition. Remember when I came, when you came at my anime husband? Yeah, I do that all the time. Six says, I have long divorced myself of fear or anything life get. Like your wife? Fresh says it's false. Ace goes, it's fact. Moon says it's true. Cyber says it's false. Guess what? It's true. It's a true fact. The inventor of the roller skates was Belgium. And also,、uh, he didn't know how to stop. So, boom. Stay close. Yo, Ben Ten is great. Leave them alone, Wasi. Eric says, Was he out here watching、uh, Star Conflict? Yeah, I'll watch, I'll watch Closest Sun Conflict. I did a whole fucking rant on it. I did a whole 16 minute rant on Star Wars, okay, and the plot of the movies. I've never animated it, but I've considered just making it a clip that exists out in the universe for you guys to have.、Um, But it's out there in the universe about the entire plot of Star Wars. Kakashi goes, It's so easy to stop in roller skates. You're just supposed to smash your face into the nearest wall. Sick goes, Hey, Spaceballs is a great movie. It is. Ace goes, Boo. The, or,、uh, Moon says, Your prize is a father. And Ace goes, Boo, that's a lame prize. Well, maybe it's what you've been missing all your life. Maybe it's just exactly what you need. Maybe it's actually the prize you've been dreaming of. Cyber's headed out. Bye, Cyber. Six goes, Celestial body, large scale confrontation, a fresh conjured positive、uh, anticipation. My favorite.、Uh, man, I love making things needlessly complicated. Um. I tried to ask Matt if we could have five guys for lunch, and this is my exact te-、um, text to him. I will read them verbatim.、Um, what if I, we had a quintet of lads for lunch? A backstreet's back, a right, all right, of Homo sapiens. A five dollar foot long that was actually burgers and not a foot. Burgers and fries. <laughs> and he's like, sure, what would you like from there? And that's how I ask for five guys. We usually say quintet of lads. He says, No, I don't need it. I had an abusive stepfather. I don't need one. Pass. Six is aggressively verbose. Eric goes, My favorite celestial body conflict.、Um, Andre Ken. Eric goes, If you got sent back to the Middle Ages, do you think you would survive? Um, no. Snake, I don't think so because A, I am a woman, and instantly, oh boy, would I have nothing to my name? I would have no rights, no nothing. I would instantly, I would just be dead. Like, there's just, there's just no way around it. And when you think about it, I don't think any of us could survive in. In the Middle Ages, if we were sent back in time, because we would just appear out of nowhere and then everyone would be like, fuck, it's a fucking Matt wizard, let's f- fuck them up. And then we'd just we'd get fucked up and die. That's, that's just how it goes. Six, uh, Six says, What would you,、uh, you like from there? At least one of the guys, maybe two. <laughs> Ace goes, I wouldn't survive either. I'm too stupid. Yeah, see, exactly. That's just like. It was just. Fucking, first of all, if the. If nobody saw us appear, we might survive a little bit longer. But, like, honestly, you, you fucking think you can survive without having to Google something? No. You're lying to me. You can't survive without Googling something every five minutes. You could be like, oh, I'll just start a fire. I'll Google how to do that. Guess what? You don't have Google. <laughs> Sixty goes, I think I would survive the Middle Ages and become a weird inventor. Fresh goes, also, illnesses were different back then. Exactly. Just because I'm vaccinated doesn't mean, like, 
something's not going to kill me. Like, yeah. Okay, here's a fun fact about vaccination, everybody. Are you fucking ready for this? Put your put your ass, get your fucking listening ears in. Here's a fun thing. As a child, I was vaccinated against mumps. Mumps is a disease that's pretty much eradicated. Nobody gets mumps anymore. It's a stupid fucking disease. Basically, it's like your tonsils and shit swell up. I don't know exactly what happens because when it happened to me, I was like, I don't know, eight. So I don't really remember what happened. But basically, you get a really bad throat ache. And so, like, they eradicated this disease. We get vaccinated on it, okay? Like, fucking, you go to school and they go, bloop, and now you don't get mumps anymore. Guess what? I had been vaccinated against mumps. My ass still got mumps. So if I'm in the fucking Middle Ages, I'm going to drink from a pedal, from a puddle or something and get, like, super mumps again, even though I'm fucking vaccinated against it and I've already had mumps once. I don't remember a lot about having mumps. I just remember I could only eat ice cream and mushed bananas and that I loved that aspect. Fever goes, you would also possibly get killed by diseases. Exactly. Kakashi goes, I absolutely love how we didn't question anything and just knew you what you were talking about. Also, P-Dork is here. Hi, P-Dork. Ace goes, put my ass listening ears close. <laughs> Six goes, you'll spend as much time fighting off diseases as you would doctors in the Middle Ages. They throw leeches at you. So he goes, I feel like if I got sent back to the Middle Ages, I would also make a gun. With what material? Snake, snake, tell me, with your knowledge right now, could you make a fucking, could you make a fucking gun right now with your knowledge? Or would you have to fucking Google some shit? Because I'm going to tell you right now, you get sent back in time, you don't got fucking Google anymore. You can't fucking make a gun. Your ass doesn't know how to make a gun now. Do you, do you want me to have fucking floor yelling time? Because I will do it. <laughs> Trash Panda goes, vaccinations aren't 100% effective. They just reduce the chance of you getting it. And it's an, um, and if enough of the population is vaccinated, the disease can't spread enough to maintain itself and eventually gets eradicated. Exactly. Which is what happened with mumps. I only got mumps on one side instead of two. Snake says, I could actually make a gun. I'm a gun nerd. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's it. You guys are all getting abandoned. It's Wazzy floor time. I'm taking the fucking headphones off. I'm taking the headphones off. I'm fucking stepping away from the fucking microphone and yelling at full volume as I lay on the floor. Are you fucking ready? I hope you can hear me because I'm going to the floor to yell. I'm on the floor. Hopefully you can hear me. The thing says that I'm picking up. I'm not reading chat anymore. Type all you want. I'm not reading it, assholes. Hear me the fuck out. You wanna? You know how to make a gun now, but that's with fucking fabricated pieces, snake. Things here have been machine oh, polished God, to a Becky. fucking Let's expertise to it make a so gun. Good. You're telling my ass you're gonna go back into the fucking Middle Ages and be able to make a gun? Bitch, they didn't even have good copper. Are you fucking kidding me? There's an entire thing about this guy who wrote on limestone because he got in significant fucking copper and you're telling me because you know how to make a machine fabricated parts you could go back in time and make a gun when bitch they didn't have the machine they they didn't have the fucking technology to make fucking the parts to make a gun why do you think they didn't have guns already because they didn't have the fucking knowledge to make the materials needed to make a gun you can't just be like i'm gonna go back in the middle ages and be okay you're not gonna fucking be okay in the middle ages there's diseases there's people that can, you're gonna be wearing a fucking t-shirt you're gonna be wearing a, a you're gonna be wearing clothes that are made of two different types of linen of of fabric and people are gonna stone you to death for being a wizard okay you're gonna show back even if you have enough time to put on clothes like and look like a, a middle-aged person you're gonna you're still not gonna be able to speak the language properly language has evolved so much even in the fucking time of my life nobody says fucking radical anymore you're telling me you're gonna go back into the middle ages and be able to speak to people also fun fact asshole we are in fucking uh fucking america you know what was happening in america in fucking 
fucking the Middle Ages. Absolutely jack shit. Jack You're going to be here with the fucking buffalo and a bunch of deer. Where's your ass going to make a gun when you're laying here with fucking deer? You're just going to be eating grass. With bear and deer and wolves and, and and buffalo and shit and you're just gonna be you just fucking no you're in Louisiana bitch you're gonna be in a swamp you're just gonna be wet and moist in your fucking forty dollar jeans standing in a swamp and no one's around to save your ass oh and crocodiles sorry I forgot again fucking Louisiana. There's fucking crocodilies everywhere. Your ass is gonna get eaten by a crocodile. You don't even have to wait for fucking diseases to come kill you. The fucking crocodiles will do it. Your ass is in a fucking undeveloped swamp. You would not survive in the Middle Ages. Okay, I'm coming back. <laughs> How many followers did I drop through that rant? <laughs> People just unsubscribe. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back. Hold on, I'm coming back. I need a drink of water now. <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys heard that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, I'm back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> uh let me, let me go back up. I missed so many fucking messages. I'm sorry, everybody. Huh. A weapon to surpass Bingle Bangle. Don't you fucking Bingle Bangle me? I think people in the neighboring streams heard that. Good, Trash Panda. Good. Okay. Wazzy on floor time is, is done. Okay. Let me catch back up on chat. <laughs> uh, Eric goes, I would survive. I'm just built different. Ted goes, I would actually make a fig um I could actually make a functional one. It would be pretty I, I wouldn't be pretty and I know how to make steel, but I know how to make a barrel and I don't know how to and I know how to make gunpowder. Officer goes, How many people have said this to you, Wassie? What's up, Wassie? Uh a, a few. Shrug goes, Don't worry, I'm a computer and science computer graphic graduate. I think it could survive the Middle Ages. <laughs> don't worry, guys, I'll just give them all Minecraft to get them addicted to Minecraft. It'll be fine. Um, I got bingle bangled while screaming. Um, so it goes, Wazzy, don't make me shoot your English ancestors. You dumbass, you think I have English ass ancestors? No, they're all fucking Ukrainian. Except one. I am exactly 2% Kazakh, okay? So there's like one dude. <laughs> it's one dude. Six goes, look at what you've done. Uh, Jerry goes, I am afraid. Snake says, well, I wouldn't make a revolver, but I would make a blunderbust. I can make electricity. Kakashi goes, that is 100% needs to be animated of all the floor screaming times that need to be animated. Trash Baby goes, uh, if only I could afford a swear timer right now. I wouldn't even have noticed it. Phoenix goes, all right, I'm back from fighting a wasp in my room. What's going on? Gray goes, uh, yes, but all uh, OP cheat powers from a smartphone. Snake broke Wazzy. <laughs> Radical. I didn't say I would get sent to the Middle Ages. First says, I love this. Wazzy meltdown. <laughs> Jacob says, bruh, uh, the ad just cut Wazzy off talking about something in the ass. Kakashi says, someone please clip this and send it to Matt. Oh, I'm pretty sure Matt heard it. <laughs> Ted says, actually, there were several well-established empires in America during the Middle Ages, mostly the Southwest and Central America. Phoenix goes, I really just missed the context for all of that. Grace says, yeah, uh, okay, so yeah, 100%, become a god in the Middle Ages. Also, guys, but could you make a god? Uh, Terry goes, how y'all doing today? I was yelling on the floor two seconds ago. Uh... Ted says, well, at least as far as we could tell, records aren't preserved. I could make a cannon. I couldn't make a handgun. Six goes, I clipped your tirade. Well, some of it. It was too big to get all of it. Also, Tequila's here. Hello, Tequila. I'm sorry. I just got off my fucking scream time. 
It was a good floor scream time. That was, you know what? That was a, that was a satisfying floor scream time. I had a delightful time yelling on the floor. I'm going to ask Matt if he heard that and if he's in a meeting right now. When I don't bingle me, dudes, I only aim for the bingles. Don't bingle me right now. Tequila says it's okay. We all need to pl place ourselves in the tantrum hole every now and again. It's true. Sometimes you just need to go on a scream about how no one, none of us would survive in the Middle Ages. To begin with, like, come on, guys, come on, guys. We wouldn't even speak the same language. Fucking none of us, none of us would be able to, like, fucking communicate with people. People would throw rocks at us, like, fucking. If you think you were, you would survive in the Middle Ages, you were probably lying to yourself. And lying to me by telling me that you could. Thank you, BOC, for your bonk. Phoenix goes, who remembers the rant redeem that we used to have? Also, Jacob would like a notice me, senpai. You know what, Jacob? To calm down from the rant. We didn't have a rant redeem. When the fuck did we have a rant redeem? Because I wasn't here for that. I don't remember having a fucking rant redeem. Anyway. Oh, Jacob. If a star from the... Jacob, if a star fell from the sky every time I thought of you, the sky would be empty. Da-da-da-da-da-da! Flort! <laughs> Watson's here and says, I speak violence. Uh, Snake goes, I would be a swamp wizard. I would be perfectly fine in the Middle Ages. Snake, you fucking wouldn't! <laughs> Do I need to go back for another floor yell? I'll do it. Uh, Ace goes, hello, fellow, fellow middle-aged person. <laughs> there he goes, I would die within three days because my I forgot my allergy meds. Tequila goes, would apothecaries be the most able to survive? No, none of us would. The language is different. Like, none of us. Dead ass. None of us would. Okay, not to mention the rampant diseases that our bodies, like, forgot how to fight and everything like that. And, like, just the convenience of it all. Are you kidding me? We wouldn't survive alone because of the lack of convenience. The fact that we would have to go, go to market and buy a whole ass pig and then eat the fucking cook the whole ass pig by ourselves which takes a long ass time and we have no family support because we would just be a singular person and like the communities would shun us because like we'd show up in a t-shirt and jeans and like just get kicked out you know because i would just speak spanish not my fault you americans are unskilled eric spanish has changed okay it's not the same spanish that the middle ages spoke God damn! I am punching my desk over this. You gotta be a good old J Jage Gyllenhaal bubble boy uh, while being Dr. Stone at the same time. Exactly! Tequila gets me! Kakashi says, y'all need to accept that if we were dropped in the past like the Middle Ages, none of us would survive. And if we were dropped in an apocalyptic world, none of us would survive. Accept it. Thank you, Kakashi. The only right thing you've said ever. <laughs> Jacob goes, oh my God, I just thought of a bingle pangle idea. Well, send it to me, Jacob. Kakashi goes, well, you have a plausible chance if you could survive in the wilderness um, wouldn't have to worry about people killing you and to avoid a lot of diseases that way. Snake goes, all of us are insane. Just because this worked in Pokemon Legends Arceus doesn't mean it would work in real life. Dad goes, if you speak any Latin, you would be fine. Watson says, and you have to stop your meat from spoiling and drinking water in the mi Middle Ages that isn't drinkable. Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you fucking, you, do your guys' asses think you wouldn't get fucking poisoned by water in the first 17 minutes? Okay? Fuck me. Snake 
Six says, I would survive perfectly fine in both situations. No, you wouldn't. I swear to God, I'm going to go on the floor and I'm going to yell again. Tequila goes, but if we were dropped off in the Middle Ages, we could be hermits at, at the head and start a technology that we already had today ahead of time. And then we would get burnt down like the goddamn Library of Alexandria. Do you fucking want to be burnt down like the goddamn Library of Alexandria? No, you don't. <laughs> you would also be a peasant and work, and work eat, sleep, and repeat. Tina goes, most likely the thing that would uh, kill most of us is disease because many of the diseases were commonplace back then and have been wiped out nowadays and our immune system have lost most of the defenses against them. Snake goes, I know how to fish and I know how to kill an alligator. Yes, but could you? Shrunk goes, how the fuck did you pronounce Arceus? It's Arceus, but I call it Arceus. I switch between the two. Who gives a shit? It's a Pokemon. <laughs> Kakashi goes, Oregon Trail taught us that all of us would die. Y'all are going to get dysentery. Yes! Thank you! Fuck! <laughs> Phoenix goes, like how many of you could start a fire without a lighter and tools? This is the thing. I know how to start a fire without a lighter. Okay? We know that. We have that knowledge. Some of us have that knowledge that we can start a fire without having to use a lighter or anything like that. Right? But how many of us could actually do it? It fucking takes a long time. It takes actually a little bit of skill to be able to fucking do, okay? What's it goes, okay, tell me what technology you would build. I wouldn't build any technology. I'd be dead in two fucking days, okay? Fuck. What's it goes? We are easy guide into the Middle Ages. No tools, no nothing. Yeah, exactly. You get nothing. You get only the clothes on you. I'm going to lay on the floor and I'm going to yell again. DVD Wing's here. Hello, DVD Wing. Because today I have to be in Lurk. That's fine, DVD. You can just listen to me yell in the background. Ace goes, I know how to fish, but I need my lucky bucket hat to fish. Ace, fuck your bucket hat. You know I hate bucket hats. How dare you bring up bucket hats in this chat? How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? You know, you know, that's fucking, that's the worst fashion choice. How dare you? How dare you bring up bucket ch hats in this day and age when I'm already like nine levels of yelling? <laughs> Shrug goes, both of those pronunciations are a lot wrong. Snake goes, I learned how to start a fire without tools so I could do it. Phoenix says, it's always the same argument, knowing exactly knowing and and actually doing are different yes exactly thank you mysteriously you know what let's make a poll because this is so divided and we're all yelling at each other we're making a poll let's see we're not getting any work done are you guys proud of yourselves we're not getting any fucking work done today anyway would someone not necessarily yourself survive in the middle ages okay Yes or no? That's all you get. And I'm not allowing you additional votes. Could someone, not necessarily yourself, but could someone? My thought is no. None of our asses would survive if we got sent back to the Middle Ages. Okay? Survive, I'm going to say, live out their natural life. Even if the natural life in that time is like, I don't know, like, you have to live a year. You have to survive a year in the Middle Ages. I'll see a year. Because, like, the average lifespan is, like, already. No, see, already, if I my ass gets sent back to the Middle Ages, I'm fucking 30. I'm already at the end of my lifespan. I would already be stoned to death for being a 30-year-old woman because that's illegal in the, in, in the old ages. Okay? I would already be dead. <laughs> Because you guys forget that I've been homeless. Yes, but also, also. <laughs> Six was my biggest gripe with being sent into the Middle Ages would be my inability to draw. I'd have to take uh, take up uh, the wood sculpting or something. <laughs> What's it goes? What do we do about the dragons? Exactly. Kakashi goes, I have the emotional stability of wet cardboard. You drop me in the Middle Ages, I'm dying. 
Ace goes, we, I think you mean you. Speaking French does not get your work done. Listen, Snake made me lay on the floor and yell. So if anything, this is kind of on you guys. This is kind of all on you guys for me not getting my work done. Like, if anything, you guys should have been better at motivating me to do my work. Why are you guys never, like, I don't know, like, super supportive of me actually getting animation done? You know, the faster I get an animation done, the more animations I can make, right? You know, that's part of the dealio, right? And instead of, like, you know, like, like, Rocky times coming up and you guys being like, Ayo! Pump them up, Rocky. Let's let's get this animation done. You guys are like, yeah, Wazzy, let's eat, lay on the floor and yell about if we'll we'll live in the in the in the Middle Ages. Anyway, let me catch back up on chat. <laughs> the average person would not survive more than a week. Yes. Thank you, Mysterious Phoenix. Snake says, I could definitely survive a year in the Middle Ages. Jacob goes, dude, I would be dead in a few years. Even if I lived and I was able to live off um, live off the diseases and illness, I would die because there's no MRIs and my tumors would eventually kill me. That fucking sucks, Jacob. <laughs> Six goes, could. As in over 9, million, 9 billion attempts, if even one could be successful, then I'd answer yes. Uh, yeah, but like, don't get that deep into it, Six. What's it goes by someone? Do you mean anyone on earth or just the people here in chat? You know, I mean, anyone on earth, you know what? Anyone on earth. Craig goes, I will use math, math knowledge. I mean, the noble birth because education, I'll bluff my way into royalty. Snake goes, I would start the myth of the common writer in early America. Tequila goes, what? I just got here. You can't blame me. Craig goes, Wazzy well, always blames us for things under her control. Wazzy blaming crew for her distractions. Distract Wazzy Friday is a thing. Six goes, what do I call you for sure? Because Toxic here is a mouthful. Oh, Wazzy, which is um, spelled W-A-Z-Y and pronounced Wa as in your um, Wario or Waluigi. It's like the Wa from Waluigi and Z, um, how Americans pronounce Z. Or Toxic is fine if you forget that. Um, you can just say toxic and I'll respond. Tequila goes, um, I'll do fine. I've watched Merlin. People are damn dumb. She goes, hey, Wazzy, guess what? I feel fucking old. I just remember Dragon Ball is around 30 years old and I watched the start of the Boo Saga on VHS in sixth grade. Six says, Wazzy, what is that short for? Oh, that's just my name. I was almost named Asia, but luckily my mother couldn't think of a middle name for Asia. So, uh, luckily I was named Wazzy instead of Asia. Because I could easily sell a lot of plays by plagiarizing off future stories. Did you forget that Shakespeare was fucking poor? Did you forget that little fact? Because that's an important thing to remember. 65% uh, of you are wrong saying someone would survive. Watson well, says, my vote is yes, then. A lot of people in, live in worse conditions than medieval Europe in modern ages. Yes, but that's the other thing. It's not just because you live in worse conditions. It's like not even knowing the language. Are you kidding me? There's so many wars fought all the time. People in the olden ages would just kill you for no reason. For no reason. For just being there. Okay? <laughs> Krakos, it's just lazy with a British accent. Basically, it's the same thing as Wazzy. Jeannie says, I've also, uh, it's also hard to forget Wazzy because all of us saying Wazzy. Also, Wazzy, what are your pronouns actually? Oh, she, her, sorry. Um, little guy slash my birthday. My pronouns are little guy slash my birthday. So if you, if you must know. Okay. Let's see how this spit looks going into my eye, everybody. Is everybody ready to see how many animations we did today? Because I'm going to be so proud of myself. Because we're pretty much where I wanted to be. Here we go. Here we go. And Amazon was all like, That'll be $50, idiot. And then they spat in my eye. 
That looks really good. I'm really happy with this animation. File save. If you guys must know, um, this animation is called... Pick a god and bingle. Well, it's not called bingle, I'll tell you that much. Um, uh, this animation is called Back Alley Magician Deals. So here's the start of it, if you'd like. This is this is everything we got done in the animation so far. I needed one of those little handshake buzzers for clownery and tomfoolery, and Amazon was all like, That'll be $50, idiot! And then they spat in my eye. That's all we got done. That's that that that's that, that's the entirety of of the animation. <laughs> that I have done so far. There have been people who have been dropped off in a different country not knowing the language and learned it all just by living there. But it's old timies, you guys, when they're just down for murder, okay? Well, see, stop reflecting. Only because your white, uh, your white e-girl ass wouldn't survive doesn't mean we can't. I don't think any of you would fucking survive. None of us would fucking survive. I'm so... Oh, I'm going to lay on the floor and yell again. Do you guys want me to lay on the floor again? Because I'll do it. I'll lay on the floor and yell. Americans are down for murder. Tomfoolery, debauchery, perhaps. She says, still a shocking amount for you, Wazzy. I'm a white guy. I would definitely rule the Middle Ages. No, you wouldn't. Chidi goes, I voted no because I'm at least partially intelligent. I swear I'm going to lay on the floor and yell again. <laughs> also, hi, Jane. We're doing bad. Everyone's telling me how they'll totally survive the Middle Ages when we all know they wouldn't. When we all know we wouldn't. Anyway, I got to make this. Hold on. I got to make this a fucking symbol. Okay? Everybody's got to wait. I'm just going to call it I spit. I spit. That's how I'll know what symbol this is. We'll make it a little bit longer. That's a thing that has been saving my ass lately. If I just make the symbols a little bit longer than they're supposed to be. All right. Remove frames. And now this is my sketch layer. This is the sketch layer I did. And then this is the actual. So I didn't do too bad, actually. From sketch layer to final. Anyway, I gotta catch back up on chat. Fuck, I'm so far behind. Okay. Six says, I don't think anyone in this chat would because that's a very small sample size and a lot of faith uh, to have in just testimonies. Tequila says, if Gurren Logan taught me anything, there's a non-zero chance. Might as well be a 100% chance. <laughs> Eric goes, uh, go ahead, e-girl. Cry about being wrong and cringe. Chain <laughs> goes, everyone dies of dis dysentery. Watson well, says, there are rules. They don't just get straight up murder you, but if you're a gr girl with pants, you would get flogged. You're just mad because I would uh, love the Middle Ages because I'm 20. You would already be an old man by 20 in the Middle Ages. <clears throat> and Chidi goes, also, Wazzy, you remember to take your pill today, right? Yes, I have a alarm for it. I took all my pills. I even took my morning ones. I usually forget those bitches, which is bad. Remember that time I sat here and in detail told you guys about how I needed to take that bill, that pill that made me pee every two hours? Um, fucking, I remembered to take that pill today. <laughs> Speaking of which, there's a hydrate. <laughs> Kikashi goes, I also voted no, because if I didn't pass out the minute I got there or I'd be eaten by an animal 100%, I'd just be called a witch and burned. Aaron goes, also, Wazzy, I need help. I've fallen into a fandom. I want help, but I've already gotten attached to some of the characters, so there's no hope. Listen, man, if I can kick my Genshin habit, anybody can kick anything, okay? My fucking ridiculous amount of Genshin habit um, fucking dr almost drove me into the poorhouse, but luckily I kicked that shit. Ted says, I'll put it this way. Uh, it would be difficult to survive in the Middle Ages, most definitely, but people did, and we haven't fundamentally changed physically from people who lived in the Middle Ages. Dead, I'm going to lay on the floor and yell again. I swear to fucking God. Kikila goes, listen, I grew up playing RuneScape back when it was mini was on Miniclip. I think I know what to do in the Middle Ages. 
Chini goes, see, now I'm becoming your living, uh, your fucking living alarm. What's it goes, we could join the gypsies and, and be sh shivved out of our shoes. Chini goes, so Wazi, um, which quit are we on for Genshin now? Um, I still quit Genshin. I'm still, I'm still out of Genshin. I did it. I quit Genshin. I'm free. I'm free. A Genshin ad came up and I didn't know any of the characters and I was okay with that. She goes, it's Homestuck and I want out now. Well, listen, you've really missed the worst part of it, so you're fine. Grace says, I've played enough Minecraft. I can make a house in the Middle Ages. Oh. Dead says, I think a lot of your belief is that people won't survive in the Middle Ages comes from the fact that you believe a lot of uh, misconceptions about the Middle Ages. It was definitely worse than it is now, but it wasn't terrible. terrible. And wasn't civilized, more or less. Yes, but the conveniences is of today. Here, here are my main things about not being able to survive in the Middle Ages. One, it's the conveniences of today. Just because we know how to do something doesn't necessarily mean we can do it. I know how to start a fire without a without a match or a lighter. But does that necessarily mean I could do it? Does that mean I have the stamina to do it? Does that mean my body, all full of its fucking microplastics, could survive without the serotonin boost a fucking cheese string gives me in the Middle Ages? Possibly not. Fucking, I'm on, I'm on several minutes. Oh, we're going to the floor. We're going to the floor. We're going to the floor, everybody. We're going back. We're going back. We gotta go back, Marty. We're going back to the floor because I'm gonna yell. Our bodies are full of fucking micro. The entire world has changed, okay? We are addicted to our fucking phones. We sit there, we fucking, we need to know everything and how to do it. You're telling me instantly in your brain, you have all the knowledge you need to survive in the Middle Ages right here in your head right now. I know how to start a fire. Doesn't mean I can actually do it. I know how to make a lean to, but I would possibly forget some steps and be like, shit, I wish I could look this up on Google. Not a lot. Like half the world is fucking un fucking uh developed at the point in time. Like you're fucking sleeping on rocks. Our bodies have gone soft, man. Yes, some of us have hard times. Yes, there's some places the way in the world that are still undeveloped. But that leads to the weirdness of the Middle Ages, where like fucking anything that's different is bad. I'm a woman. I wear pants. I would instantly die. So instantly, right then, any female over the age of 30 that gets transported back to the Middle Ages is fucking dead. Okay? It's right off that whole part of it. Okay? And if you're not, fuck, you're married off at the age of 12. Okay? And you better start producing babies and it's just going to be kind of weird about it. Okay? We're Culturally, we have changed so much that I don't think either physically nor mentally could we handle the strain of being back in the fucking Middle Ages. Culturally, the culture shift has changed. Okay? I went to Japan for like two weeks. It was a big culture shift. It fucked me up a little bit. I was like, whoa, okay. I came back here and I was fucking trying to say Japanese because I was a fucking idiot because I came back here and I was trying to excuse myself for every little thing. And I was like, fucking people are talking on the train. That's weird. Fucking country to country is a fucking culture shift. You're telling me going back into the Middle Ages is not going to be a culture shift and trying to survive there? Is that going to mentally break you, let alone physically trying to fucking survive the diseases? Even, even if I made it to the Middle Ages and survived, I would want to be dead. Okay? How's anybody going to know how fucking funny I am? I'm going to try to teach the peasants memes and they're not going to get them. 80% of my humor comes from fucking memes. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm coming back from floor time. <laughs> Me and Dead are going to fight about this for like nine years. Uh... I wish I was smarter so I could argue my points more. <laughs> anyway, I'm coming back. Headphones are coming back on. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're back. Was it confirmed for Eve? Actually, if you want to talk serotonin, there's a good chance of getting sent back into the Middle Ages would be good for that part of your brain in the long run. 
Man. You wouldn't be married off at all because you don't have a family to benefit from marrying you off. In ancient Egypt, women used to um, use a calculator shit or alcier shit in their vaginas as birth control. And it was so acidic, it worked. Jane goes, so in different regions have bacteria, so our bodies may not just be able to handle the food. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is she good? I'm good. I'm back from Floriel. The headphones are back on. We're back. We're back and we're normal. We're back. We're normal. <laughs> How's your head? Light pounding? Are you all right? I'm good. Sometimes you just need to lay on the floor and yell about things, okay? I'm not the only dude who's ever had to lay on the floor and yell about a thing, okay? <laughs> Normal is a concept I do not understand. <laughs> also, the question is, how long counts as surviving? I would say a year counts as surviving. That's my thought. At the end of the day, you can pretend that you, uh, you can pretend that you were sent by God and become a cult leader. <laughs> yes, but are people going to believe that? Six says in the Middle Ages, during the height of the Crusades, they would use uh, calculators to figure out their chances of of almost not failing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run the numbers. Oh, we got a 33.3 percent chance, and then I would Leroy Jenkins it. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm good. I'm good. What's stopping me from making a bunch of memes and spreading them around town and with nobody knows who I am? Go back in time and eat the legendary banana uh, bike mic that was wiped from the world in 1960s. Tequila goes, they're dumb enough to believe anything so long as it's sent by God. Ted goes, the expert craftsmanship of your clothing would be all the proof they need that you were sent by the divine. And he goes, Leroy Jenkins. I would Leroy Jenkins my life. That's kind of how I live my life. I live my life by the code of Leroy Jenkins. I just kind of run in and yell stuff. I'm really good at yelling and ruining other people's day, if you guys haven't noticed. I can't wait for Dead Signal to send me this long fucking email about how wrong I am all the time. <laughs> Uh, I live, I live for the moment. I get a, I get an email that just says, fuck you. And like, that's the subject line. And then I open up the email and it's just like nine paragraphs about how something I said on stream was wrong. <laughs> Jeannie goes, are you done floor yelling now? I think I am. I think I got it out of my system. I think I'm good. Thank you for checking on me. I think I'm good. For now, at least. Maybe in the future, I will do more floor yelling. <laughs> ah, Princess here says, Leroy Jenkins didn't need a uh, Calcumunda doo-doo to see if he has a 100% chance of being absolutely Chad-tastic. <laughs> Be the Le Le Leroy Jenkins you want to see in the world. Eric says, also, gang, now that I completed Kingdom Hearts, which one should I play next? Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> Six, because they want to you should anime. Get off my fucking dick, Six. I'm working out here. What are you guys doing to fucking help? Haven't seen you guys putting in any fucking framework here. Just saying, you know, it's just me out here. Fucking animating spit. Which actually, I don't want to be that guy, but I did spit on myself a lot while I was laying on the floor. It kind of sucked, if I'm being honest with you. Um, when I lay on the floor, the direction of my spit goes up and then falls back on my face. <gasps> he goes, I'm giving bingles to you. Ted says, I will spend the next week thoroughly researching this topic so I can send you a 12 fate essay on exactly why modern day human could survive in the Middle Ages. <laughs> Once it goes, keeping you uh, occupied and helping you with your sanity. She goes, well, Wazzy, this is your own fault. Wazzy, you explicitly requested for us to encourage you to get to work. 
I did, and you guys are doing a piss poor job of it. Kakashi says, uh, I don't even think you want me to put any work into your animation. You know, the only thing I could draw is a Pokemon, and it's back. Estic says, well, I mostly work in Blender, and it's been a while since I animated in Grease Pencil. Rira says, this needs to be animated. Estic says, but the moment I'm crocheting, making a granny square. Oh. Stick says, you're the one who got distracted by me saying I would survive in the Middle Ages. Because you fucking wouldn't, Snake! You wouldn't survive in the Middle Ages! First of all, you told me you were going to get a gun. Snake, the first thing you said, you, the, you said, I would survive in the Middle Ages. I know how to make a gun. And then I disproved you by saying, fuck. By saying you would need manufactured parts. Fuck. <laughs> Jenny goes, so was he? How did your spit taste? And we all know, leave some of your spit went back in your throat. I don't know, it tastes like fucking water. And then they say, I didn't know spit was supposed to taste different, you fucking weirdos. Okay, anyway. Yet, and then they spat in my eye. There we go. Anyway, this is a very factual fucking animation. Now I gotta figure out what Amazon would look like. What's the Amazon logo look like? Snake would survive the Middle Ages. No, he fucking wouldn't! Uh, who's ready for high-pitched Wazza yelling today? Amazon logo. It's a lowercase a. It's a lowercase a, but it's the way I draw a's, which is fucking copyright infringement, so fuck you, Amazon. It's a lowercase a with an arrow. It's just a smile under... Was he? I'm a historian. I trust Snake. I know Snake would survive. Snake would not survive. Snake says, don't make me invent the, the gritty in the Middle Ages. Ugh. I hate everything about today. I fuck it. You know what? At least it's not piss facts. You know what? At least, at least at the end of the day, it's not fucking piss facts. At least I can lay my head gently upon my pillow tonight and go to sleep knowing that at least out of everything that there was, at least it wasn't piss facts. It could have been worse, Wazzy. It could have been worse. He's goes to someone say piss facts. No, he didn't. Snake would somehow die of Black King. <laughs> I mean, Black Long. Ted says, I mean, at the end of the day, you will know how to use middle-aged tools. Someone will find a use for you, and they may need to keep you alive. Chidi goes, piss is ster sterile. And Six goes, do not start. Listen, that happened to me once on a stream. Crew crew we're not doing this again Snake goes I would survive the middle ages I live in the swamp for crying out loud you would not snake snake you would not survive the middle ages listen and this isn't this isn't a slight against you none of us would you know since most of the people in the middle ages were dehydrated their piss was probably deep orange <laughs> Wazzy, make me a moderator. I'm begging you to six. Uh, okay. Now. Because the Amazon is facing me, it would be backwards. And it's giant. And it's like this. Yes, perfect. And then we got to make it a shadow. A big looming and Amazon shadow. Amazon was all like, that'll be $50. We got to make it move. Okay, cool. Here goes, Wazzy, we would, um, you would die. We wouldn't. Uh, God damn it, you guys. Enough with the piss facts. Kiro goes, did you know there's a... There's children focused products which allow you to make edible fecal metal. Why do you guys know this shit? Why do you guys know the weirdest, grossest stuff? Snake goes, most accurate agrees that I would survive in the Middle Ages. 
Jeannie says, I'm currently playing Genshin, so I could do my uh, sister's daily commissions. Uh, I'm not reading any of your guys' piss facts. I'm leaving it alone. If I ignore it, it'll go away. Don't fucking hydrate me or stretch me. That's rude, Aztec. So he goes, I meant to say most of crew believes I would survive the Middle Ages. Ace goes, I know a lot of forbidden knowledge, Wazzy. We talk about this. Ryuru says, that rant was the funniest thing I've heard in a while. That's rude, Ryuru. I stream every day. <laughs> Six goes, do not let me in with these guys. They are not my brand of degeneracy. Eric goes, yo, you gang, you want to hear a rat fact? Rat fact. Rats have piss. Yes, they do. Rat fact. The rats uh, elected a new pope. Fresh goes, new way. Yahweh, radical. I don't know where I want this giant A to B. I don't believe you could survive in the Middle Ages. I just believe that someone could survive in the Middle Ages. Not you, though. Thank you, Dead. Thank you, Dead. Eric says, got tricked. It was a piss fact. <laughs> Eric says, I believe I'll live in the Middle Ages. Fresh goes, radical even. Phoenix goes, rat fact. In the Middle Ages, they were kind of d dope and did nothing wrong. Look it up, I promise. So he goes, I could definitely survive the Middle Ages. I can fish and I can hunt and I can make inventions. Six goes, my favorite rat fact is that a rat king is a real thing and it's weird. What's it says, the thing is that in the Middle Ages, most roads were actually open sewers and you would be in grave danger of septus. Hashtag piss fact. Eric goes, Seto Kaiba would survive. Seto Kaiba would not survive. They would not have a blue eyes white dragon and Seto Kaiba would die. The Pharaoh would survive, Yugi not so much. Yeah, the Pharaoh would survive. But most of your streams don't have you ranting about how people would survive in the Middle Ages. Ace goes, but Wazi, he has money. Y y fuck it, yeah, our time money! Our time money! <laughs> Middle Ages, I'm not sure I would survive Middle Ages, says Ice Wolf. <laughs> the Pharaoh for would survive. The Pharaoh definitely would. Yeah, I agree with that. Pasta says, I would restart the Black Death. Also, thank you, Aztec, for a safe reminder. Hive goes, I might have been ghosted on. <gasps> Your date abandoned you? Well, it's okay. Come here and argue about how Snake wouldn't survive the Middle Ages with the rest of us. <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe your date ditched you. Now you gotta hang out with us and talk about how people wouldn't survive in the Middle Ages. <laughs> That's the shadow. Maybe I should draw the actual A, too. Ted said, I, I mean, to be fair, since we all know modern hygiene standards, we could introduce those medieval peasants and improve their lives immensely, which would give us status. Uh, okay, guys, would you guys survive the Digimon world? Also, no. Some of us might. Six says, Seto Kaiba would manifest a blue-eyes white dragon out of a sheer force of will uh, and absurdity. I can actually believe Seto would be able to make a gun and then wouldn't do and wouldn't in favor of holograms and monsters. Ace goes, Wazi, what if I told you I was a time traveler? Pizza goes, you think Kaiba wouldn't, wouldn't have gold? Eric goes, I would. I would just have uh, fucking fight everyone in the digital world. Phoenix goes, someone that has the ability to make po um, polls should make a poll on which snake should survive. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do that. Here's a poll. 
Here's a poll. Would snake, would snake survive the Middle Ages? Would snake survive the Middle Ages? Yes or no? Very simple. Very simple poll. I'm going to vote no. Hive goes, Yu-Gi-Oh! Monsters vs. Digimon. Oh, man, Digimon. Digimon have way more guns than fucking uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Monsters. Phoenix goes, uh, or Asa, uh, Aztec says, why do, you, why do I feel like it would be the premise of an anime? Like that time I got sent back to the Middle Ages and didn't survive because Wazzy said so. Ted goes, absolutely fucking not. Digimon will kill us. Six goes, if a 10 to 12 year old could survive Digimon, I could. Eric goes, Digimon would win. There's a Digimon that has the ability to choose some stuff um, is not real and what affects them. What's it goes, they actually took baths in the Middle Ages. Uh, it's in the Renaissance that they thought being clean was dangerous for health. And that's why perfume was so popular. Jeannie goes, Joey Wheeler would not survive Middle Ages for other for no other reason other than he's Joey fucking Wheeler. <laughs> Fresh goes, make it a prediction. I want to gamble. <laughs> Snake says, I've been taught to hunt and how to build stuff out of wood. Ancient medieval d diseases would kill Snake. Yes, but this is the thing, Snake. You're just going back as yourself. You have no tools, no money, no nothing. Stop the count. This election's being stolen. Uh, <laughs> Patsy goes, Snake would last a week. Now, Colonel goes, our Snake wouldn't be, so but Solid Snake would survive. Six goes, Joey Wheeler's job uh, to the Middle Ages is an episode idea I'm impressed doesn't exist. Snake goes, oh shit, when did 30 people start watching this stream? Oh shit, 30 people to disappoint. Don't fucking tell me that shit. Snake goes, Snake would survive. CFO goes, I'm more worried that Snake would spread COVID to them and wipe out the entire population. You know what? CFO makes a point. Orange boy's got a point. Actually, no, I never confirmed your gender on that. Sorry. Sorry. Orange person's got a point. My dude, my guy, my non-binary orange pie uh, has got a point. As it goes, wait, by that logic, uh, would you go back in time clothed or naked? You would have your clothes on your back. Just like as you are sitting now, whatever you are wearing right now, boom, zapped, gone. If you have anything in your hands, it doesn't come with you. It's just what's on your body. Chidi goes, fun fact, if people in Yu-Gi-Oh! had 10% more common sense, Joey would uh, hypothetically just start running people over with his car. <laughs> I'm more concerned as why would, why would Snake want to be in the Middle Ages? Because he thinks he can make a gun! Snake commits uh, mass genocide. Snake says, I could definitely use your clothes for a lot of great tools. Eric goes, fun fact, I could take every Digimon Royal Knight. Nocturnal says, um, it kind of does among the group who was sent to the virtual world and who was sent to medieval times. Trash Brother says, okay, I'm not surviving the Middle Ages in a Pikachu onesie. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, British Trash Panda. You would fucking not. You'd be dead. Also, Watson said it out. Thanks for stopping by, Watson. Dad says, if I have, what if I have a handgun in my holster? The handgun, it doesn't come back with you. She goes, oh, and Yu-Gi-Oh would have the best card ever. It's called a Glock. Snake saying, I'm just saying I wouldn't make a handgun, but I would make a blunderbuss. You wouldn't make anything. <laughs> Don't make me go back to the floor and yell again. Okay, yeah. Maybe it's funnier if it is just the shadow of Amazon and maybe it needs to be a lot fucking bigger. It's gotta be a lot fucking bigger or I gotta be a lot fucking smaller. Perfect. Okay. And then we just need some kind of background. He goes, okay, I'll get my fishing gear and my lucky bucket hat before I get sent to the Middle Ages. So he goes, I need a GoFundMe to make a time machine to prove you wrong. 
Phoenix says, do I get to keep my keychain? It's got all of my great survival tools. Six says, COVID would not do much in the Middle Ages uh, as any other disease, considering that even if it did kill everyone in the village, it too would die. But also it would be less lethal than literally a basic bitch flu. So anyway, DJ's here. Hello, DJ. We're fucking animating and arguing whether or not we would survive in the Middle Ages. That's that's literally all this stream has been about. See if it goes, the background is uh, the Middle Ages. Kirill goes, this is a very roundabout way to say to everyone, I hope you die. <laughs> great. That's really great, Kirill, from somebody named Kill. Dead says, I mean, you're saying it like it would be the most impressive in the Middle Age people. In the Middle Ages created uh, primitive guns as well, so they wouldn't be surprised by the technology. Fresh goes, sorry, Snake, but you're dead. <laughs> Yeah, 12 feet of people, 75% voted no, Snake. You would die. Chini goes, better question. Would you survive the world of Genshin? No, I would not. I'm not accessorized enough. Snake goes, I would be able to advance history at least uh, by a lot of time. And DJ says, we probably wouldn't survive. Phoenix goes, also, this has been a great thought experience of me driving home from the grocery store. <laughs> Listen, I'm so, I'm so mad. I want to explain myself better, but I'm not smart enough to. And I don't know how to properly and accurately explain to you guys how right I am. Because I'm not smart enough to accurately portray it. Also, thank you, Ace, for Hydrate. Eric goes, I can't believe you guys killed Snake. Genshin has respawn mechanics. It would be harder to die. I mean, if you stayed dead. Nick Snake goes, I'm going to ask Froggy this question later. If Froggy would survive, Froggy would not survive. Knock, knock, fucker. I know him very well and personally. He's like a little brother to me. And that bitch would be dead in the mid in, in the in in middle ages also everybody shut up and pretend we're not arguing this for 45 minutes uh welcome to the crew love foxy hi i'm wazzy i'm supposed to be animating but instead we're arguing whether or not we'd survive in the middle ages and the current theory is no here goes i mean he is a small frog river says you and froggy do have sibling energy yeah we do Six says, I'm wearing a froggy ja uh, jackal or jacko pose shirt right now. I would be able to use that pretty well in the Middle Ages. <laughs> Chidi goes, I would definitely die in Genshin, especially in um, Izazuma. He goes, how many frames did you get done? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Technically 13, because then it just kind of ha hangs frame. So, technically 13 frames. Dead says, most of you would decide whether or not you could survive in the Middle Ages is where you ended. <laughs> Phoenix goes, also, Snake, if you went to the Middle Ages, you couldn't play D&D &D or watch Common Rider with us. And Gina goes, the lightning place, Wazzy. Yeah, I know the white lightning place. 13, ha, you could do 25. Not in the five minutes left I have on stream, I can't. I don't know how long I'm going to stream, actually. I'm having a pretty okay time. I might go later. Eric goes, fun fact about the Digimon world, the possibilities of Satan trauma dropping you are not zero. Ace goes, speed run. Well, no, because I don't even know what's next in this animation. And I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I've been real slow on animations lately. I did an animation earlier that should have only taken me, like, a day, and it took me, like, almost two. And it upset me greatly. So, anyway, here's my new thing. I'm going to make a new poll. Would you personally... Oh, actually, I can change this background. Would you personally survive five years if you were dropped off in the middle ages with just what you're wearing now 
Snake goes, what would it stop me from inventing stuff that I love from the modern day, like all the stories I love in tabletop games? Maybe that people might think you're crazy? This is the thing. You guys all seem to go back and like think that when you go back that the peasants will all instantly be like, oh my God, they're sent from God. We should listen to everything you say. When in reality, it doesn't always necessarily work like that. Some people in the Middle Ages were just crazy. Some people that just started like being fucking weird in the Middle Ages were just crazy and they weren't gods. <laughs> Reamer goes, it's okay. You're just an eternally jet-legged little guy. It says, I meant most of what would decide whether or not you would go to the Middle Ages is where you ended up. Text-to-speech is bad. That's fair. Snake goes, people already think I'm crazy. Exactly. Cheney says, question, would Wazzy survive one fight with Dr. Eggman? I probably would because I'm not a small rodent. And I'm not above punching a man, an old man. I don't care how many robots he's got. I'm not above punching punching an old man so i think i could take dr eggman i'm not above punching an old man sifo says uh i'd say on the one year the one year the village i spawn in would be pillaged he goes i'd survive pizza pasta goes people of today are crazy eric says i have a better question would you guys survive in one day in the lego star wars world well, no, because I would be a Star Wars guy. I don't think I want to be a Star Wars guy. Chidi goes, but you're also human capable of being uh, squished by a 50-foot robot. Or by a giant stone wrecking ball. Dr. Lewis says, old, Robotnik's said to be in his 20s. Fucking Robotnik's old. Kiro goes, will we die? I mean, maybe. Wait, it sounds like Matt's done work. I have to ask him a very important question. Hey, Matt. We'll see if he heard me. Also, what place in the Middle Ages? Just generally where you are. Eric goes, I think you wanted to say that Robotnik is hot. Snake says, I would make a wooden Gundam figures in the Middle Ages. Pizza goes, like Europe or Asia? Kakashi says, tell Richard guy I said hello. Dead says, I could survive in the Middle Ages. I would not thrive in the Middle Ages, however. Exactly. I don't think he heard me. I'm going to text him. Russ says, oh my, what a fancy suit. I feel underdressed in my Fanta t-shirt. Oh, it's because I'm business wazzy and I'm working today. And I'm getting so much fucking work done. It's blowing everyone's mind. so much work done uh in fact i need to go grab the background frame um backgrounds welcome to where i store all my backgrounds everybody this is the background frames uh, i think it's in outdoor no it's not is it in city yes it's in city copy sometimes you just need to go and steal a background that you did earlier in your animation career and that's okay it's okay to steal from your own previous work copy perfect okay uh chidi goes would wazi survive an encounter with frieza no i would not i would fucking not Ace goes, most of the work uh, was yelling at Snake about how he wouldn't survive in the Middle Ages. Snake says, okay, I asked Froggy the question if I would survive in the Middle Ages on Discord, and I just have to wait for his response. He's going to tell you no. Also, leave the man alone. He's fucking, he's, he's a busy guy right now. Rise goes, can Wazzy beat Goku? Uh, First of all, yes, I could be Goku because I make a mean food. And, like, Goku would be like, I'll kick your ass. And I'd be like, but if you kick my ass, you can't get these delicious eggs that I am making. And then Goku would be like, ah, shit, you're right. And then Goku um, wouldn't beat me up. Six says, you guys, if I ever get sent back to the Middle Ages, I'm definitely making sure uh, this... Uh, the stuff you like will never exist. Dad says, you're to hear first, kids. It's okay to steal. 
Ginny says, Wazzy would die to Frieza the same way Krillin did. Sifo says, actually, I want to go back to the statement. Why would you want to be in the Middle Ages? Exactly! Why would anyone want that shit? The chances you become a god to the peasants is like, maybe like 1%. Eric goes, I'm Spanish. I could kill Freezer. I have the power of Dragon Ball in me. So he goes, I didn't say I would want to be back in the Middle Ages. I said I would be able to survive in it. Kakashi says, thank you. I'm more concerned about why. Tit said, that would work um, on Beerus. Goku would stop fighting you when he realized you weren't a challenge. Exactly! Aztec says, uh, so here's a more realistic question. Uh, would someone survive about 200 years ago? I don't, I, I don't know. Also, bye, uh, Kiro. Thanks for stopping by. 200 years ago is a little different than the Middle Ages. 200 years ago is more acceptable, in my opinion. It, you would still have a hard time. But, but, um, I think it's possible. Not for me. Oh, fuck no. I would, like, lay down and die, but. Ryan says, kicks out to the door. How many friends have we got done today? Thirteen? <laughs> Astic goes, uh, being back said just, uh, 200 years ago. Uh, my bad. Kakashi says, Pineapple, do you believe you could survive being dropped off in the Middle Ages? <laughs> We're just bringing everybody into it. Did I end my stream? Did my fucking stream die? Did I fucking die live on stream? Oh, I am going to kill you, Telus. It says I'm still alive. Oh, I died for a second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, good. Fucking tell us. Okay. I'm going to have to kill tell us. I'm going to send tell us back to the Middle Ages. That's what's going to happen. Fucking, I'm going to go back to the Middle Ages. I'm going to send fucking the entire tell us company. Hi, this is a call, call up post to the fucking entire company of uh, tell us. Uh, fuck you. It says, absolutely, people would survive 200 years ago. It would be a major inconvenience, but there would be plenty of people around who would be able to help you. Eric says, uh, you guys would survive by uh, by being to hunt, by being hunt by Wolverine. Ace goes, was he yelled so loud it froze my computer? Kakashi says, you died for a minute, but you're back. You did indeed die. God damn it. Yeah, I did indeed die. It's telling me I'm live again. Oh my fucking god, I'm going to kill you, Telus. Anyway, here's the animation. I can show you guys the animation, and then I'm good to just yell for a while, I think. I, I'm not going to end this stream, but I am going to have a conversation. Anyway, here we go. I needed one of those little handshake buzzers for clownery and tomfoolery, and Amazon was all like, That'll be $50, idiot! And then they spat in my eye. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful animation right there. Good job, me. None of you guys helped. Anyway. Um, would you survive it? Would any of you survive prehistory? No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> you probably die uh, of a disease and then come back as a skeleton again. Pineapple says, I'd be able to survive, but I don't think anyone else would be able to survive the sudden influx of new diseases and bacteria being introduced by me. Also, Fresh Dumbledore would like a joke. So, say, so I only buy five Knights of Freddy's in the Middle Ages to make you angry, Wazzy. How would you do that? He goes, Amazon would spit in people's eyes. Essex says, Well, I've only been here for like 40 ish minutes. That's, yeah. We're live. It's fine. Maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, Twitch won't think it was two streams again. They'll just be like, It was a little influx. Hopefully I don't have to fucking mix a fucking thing together again. Anyway. Fresh wants a bad joke and I'm going to deliver. Here we go.
What do you call a snobbish prisoner going downstairs? A condescending, condescending. Da 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 da. Choke. Also, a hydrate. Thank you. <laughs> Five Nights at Frederick. What do you mean? Of course I helped. I uh, invented hand buzzers. <laughs> Phoenix goes, uh, a lot of you are also probably getting Middle Ages and the Dark Ages mixed up. They're different, and that's important. Uh, listen, old, any of us sent back to old, oldie times, we would all fucking die. We all know it. It's the same as those dudes who are like, oh, the apocalypse is coming. Good thing me and my bro buddies... Um, have a, have a post-apocalyptic plan. Do you guys remember that fucking Twitter thread about the post-apocalyptic plan, man? Do you guys fucking remember that? That was an important thing. Let me fucking... The dude who, like, didn't have, didn't have a non-electric can opener. So, like, he had, like, 500, like, th cans of, like, fucking ravioli, but he couldn't get into them because it was fucking... He had only an electric can opener. Essex says, how are doomsday preppers the same as being sent to the Middle Ages? Because everybody thinks they're going to fucking be able to survive and you fucking can't. You just, it's just not going to fucking happen. However, 200 years, being sent back just 200 years, you could probably do. You could probably do 200 years. Um... My brother, um, Liptic Bro. I'm just trying to figure out how to find this Twitter thread. I remember it was Twitter. A says, uh, I'll survive the old time for at least four weeks. Rio says, I don't remember. All right, um, find out where I goes. The apocalypse are the first to die. See, Phil says, I don't think 1% of people would survive without internet. Phoenix goes, this is a weird episode of the Twilight Zone. Six says, don't make me become the legend of Zelda's Majora Mask in the Middle Ages. Um... Fuck, I can't find it. I'm going to find it and post it in the Discord later. But I know what I'm talking about. It was basically, basically it was this guy's brother was in Texas. And then remember like last year when it snowed in Texas and everybody lost their mind? And like his brother was like, don't worry, I'll survive all this snow in Texas. And then he fucking, like all his, all his shit was like, um was fucking um like electric and he couldn't actually survive the cold times um fuck i remember reading it ace goes you know what i wouldn't survive without a wazzy stream exactly it that's exactly fuck Oh my god, I think I found it. Oh my god, I found the thread. Okay, I'm gonna read this verbatim to you guys. Um, fuck it, wait, I'll send it so that we can read it together. Hold on. I'm gonna like the tweet, and then I'm gonna fucking pull it up. We're all gonna go and look at my Twitter, everybody. Are you all ready? Yes, I still have a Twitter. Do I have a cool blue check mark? No, I fucking don't. I'm not a fucking chump. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Go to my likes, Wazzy. Go to my Hello. likes. Hello. Don't Hello. fucking raid me. Ah. Don't raid me right now. We're in the middle. Rainbow sheep, we're in the middle. We're in the middle of sh of talking, sh of shit talking each other. Sheep. Sheep. Hello, everybody. Hello, raiders. Hello, sheep. You should fucking look. Wow, sheep. Look at, look at how I didn't block you from raiding, sheep. 
Sorry, that's a thing between me and sheep. One time I tried to raid them and they blocked me from raiding them. It was so rude. Um, anyway, hello raiders. I'm Wazzy. Uh, I'm an animator. I'm supposed to be working right now, but now we're talking about whether we would survive in the Middle Ages. And I found a Twitter thread I wanted to bring up. Um, and also, um, we animated today. Anyway, fucking welcome to the stream. Get yourself some water, uh, sheep. Um, fucking, I know streaming was hard. So have a good time. Have some fucking water. I'm going to read you guys this. Are you guys fucking ready for this? Okay. I'm going to read it verbatim. All right. So this is what I'm talking about when I say you guys wouldn't survive in the Middle Ages and why nobody in the, that thinks they can survive the apocalypse can survive, um, in the apocalypse. Here we go. We're going to read this together. Um... Yes, please give me a shout out to uh, Rainbow Sheep Please Mods. Thank you. Um, all right, here we go. So my eldest brother, who is a moron, has been playing soldier with his moron friends in the deserts of Texas for the last year, prepping for the collapse of civilization if Biden won. They've been burying food and ammo stashes out in the deserts, running drills, crazy stuff. Now, remember, this is February 16th, 2021. This is when Texas got hit with snow. This included getting a CB license so he could be their lifeline to other groups of white idiots when the cell towers all went offline. Um, wouldn't want to violate federal law while communicating with your resistance groups after the fall of the federal government, I guess. Anyway, you would assume that given they've been prepping for the end of the world, they would for at least a year they would be well situated to write, to write out the rolling blackouts, right? Well... Their plan for cooking and heating during extended power outage was natural gas. But like a lot of homes, their gas service is out. The food in their freezer and fridge is already toast due to the power outage, so they're down to can canned stuff. But here's the catch. They can get into the pull top cans just fine, but the ones that require an opener, there's the only can opener is electric. It's a good three-fourth of his canned food store is inaccessible to him unless he goes at it with a knife, which I sincerely hope he does. So Captain Survival was eating unheated ravioli out of a can yesterday because I guess he doesn't know how to start a fire. They have a fire pit, but it too is gas fired. He told my mom they're probably going to break into the survival buckets soon. I'm sure that's great food. He told my mom that the blackout is due to Texas switching everything to wind power, but that he didn't discount that the government was doing this on purpose. If you could figure out why they'd arbitrarily freeze out at a giant state, hey, points to you. The saving grace is that um, all this, he's having to ra ra ration his phone usage so he can sit on the phone with my mom for, for hours crying about it. He's forced to sit there and talk to his wife, who is almost as dumb as he is. Presumably, he's sitting there shivering, ranting about the libs while he sucks down cold beefaroni. What a life. He tried contacting his best friend of his little LARPing group, but he's gone to ground. I sincerely hope that means he thinks this is the start of the Great Purge or whatever, and that he's disappeared into the mountains to evade FEMA and child support bailiffs. Trying to get more details from my mom, but I have to play it cool. If I laugh, she'll stop telling me about it, so I have to pretend this is very serious and I'm concerned for his safety while I'm imagining him hitting a can of baked beans with a screwdriver repeatedly. <laughs> On the plus side, they've got plenty of guns and ammo so they can shoot the shit out of the snow. Locking down two people with marital strife in a house with no supplies, no access to power, but plenty of access to guns and ammo seems like a great idea. I think this should work out great. Just to give you all some additional comfort, his wife is part of the group who helps select the textbooks Texas buys every year. Just in case you're wondering about what kind of people make those decisions. And that's the thread I wanted to read you guys. Russ says, wow, we're learning so much. What an educational streamer. I am. Ace goes, who got an electric can opener? That's dumb. Snake goes, well, it's because he's an idiot and who didn't think it through. I know, but I'm just still saying. The fact stands, 75% of crew doesn't think Snake would survive an apocalypse. That's that's the fucking point of the stream. The point of the stream is none of us, none of us would survive an apocalypse or getting sent to the Middle Ages. That was it. Being sent to the Middle Ages. 25% of crew believes you might survive in the Middle Ages, Snake. But honestly, everybody in crew is here right now. And let's be honest, we're not the brightest people. I'm just saying. I'm just putting that out there. I'm just being that guy who has to say it. But um, maybe we're not as smart as we think we are. Anyway, 
that's been our stream. That's been our adorable little Wazzy animated. That's been our fucking stream. Let's go find somebody to raid. I'm sorry all of you that came from Rainbow um, that weren't here long. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your minimal stay. Um, but we're going to go bother somebody. Let's go find somebody's life to ruin. Oh, Buzz is live. Let's fucking... Buzz is live and playing Mario. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what an idiot. Um, but you could survive living in a cave for four months. Six says, I, I enjoyed it. It was dumb. Um, Kakashi goes, let's go ruin their life. I love Wazzy Rants. Oh, wait, hold on. Matt's here. Hello, Matt. Before we end the stream, we can't go raid yet. We got to talk to Matt. Hello, Matt. Hi. Sorry I'm late. I saw the message what, 20, from 20 minutes ago. That's okay. I've got a very important question for you, buddy. Okay. Do you think Snake would survive in the Middle Ages? I don't think any of us would, to be honest. Thank you! From the smartest dude I know, Matt is here saying none of your asses would survive well, in the Middle Ages. I'm also saying you're, you wouldn't either. Oh, I know I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm, full, I'm a woman over 30. I would be dead, okay? That's true, yeah. Fucking I, this I entire also... time, I have been arguing that none of us would survive in the Middle Ages. Yeah, none of us would. We all like, we, we all like our creature comforts too much. We're all gonna, we're all gonna fucking die. Okay, like this entire stream, I laid on the floor and yelled twice about how none of us would survive in the Middle Ages, okay? Yeah, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. We just fucking wouldn't, okay? None of us would. <laughs> Canned goods, non-existence. I definitely wouldn't ex survive. Exactly. I'm in a hole. No, I don't think anybody could survive. T being sent back 200 years ago, yes, probably. But... Being sent back to the Middle Ages. First of all, we're not even starting with the language barrier that's going to be there. But. <laughs> Pumpkin says, I would be beyond dead over 40. Exactly. Ted goes, I could survive, but I would suffer. Ace goes, we wouldn't be able to survive without turkey in a can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For shovel though goes the right answer. Yes, that's what we've been arguing about. Yeah. No, 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 that's that's the absolute correct answer. None of us would survive the Middle Ages because none of us have the, the language skills nor the wherewithal to be able to survive that. Plus the fact not not to include not to accept the fact that our autoimmune systems are completely different. Exactly. See, this is the shit I wanted to argue, but I was too stupid to argue on my own. I had to wait for Matt to come in here and fucking break it down for you guys. I knew what I was talking about, but I didn't have the intelligence to tell you guys. <laughs> I see we were saying the stream needs to be made to a video. Pumpkin says that. my bow and arrow game is lacking. Exactly! And Snake's like, I'm gonna make a gun. You're not gonna fucking make a gun, Snake. You're not. <laughs> Can, do you know how to smelt iron? <laughs> uh, and even if you didn't, you'd be like, oh, I'll just look it on a bow on YouTube. Guess what, idiot? You're not fucking looking it up on YouTube. There's no YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you're a couple centuries earlier than that shit. Anyway, we're gonna go raise, raid Buzz. Um, thank you guys for fucking chilling out with me. I love and appreciate you guys. Um, fucking until next time, I would simply invent YouTube. Ryan, shut the fuck up! Ryan, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Ryan, I love you guys. Uh, this has been a really fun stream. Um, until next time, don't forget to kick names and take asses. Um, and, um, fuck. Don't get sent back to the Middle Ages because you will fucking die. Don't text it. Don't come see me on Sunday and be like, well, I got sent back to the Middle Ages and I died. Because I'll just tell you I told you so. Uh, anyway, get out of my fucking house. Let's go see Buzz. Bye, guys. Hey, yo. Back again. It's been a minute. This next song goes out to one of the coolest dudes I ever met on the internet. Let's get it.